and welcome to our room. Finally, after two months of traveling, we have our own room. Not um, living out of a suitcase anymore. Not living out of a suitcase. We can unpack our bags. We're not living in someone's living room and not couch surfing anymore. So this it's is- It's been um, an amazing journey though. Oh, definitely. But what we found hard was really difficult to just keep packing, unpacking every three to four days yeah. and then moving along. It's kind of nice to have somewhere permanent and yours to like come home to. Yeah. Um, so yesterday, I was excited that it was going to be our last time living in a living room. <laughs> uh, we're so thankful for everyone that's helped us out along the way, that's offered their place for us to stay. Um, we really, really appreciate it. We just really appreciate our own room now. Yeah. 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 We're finally we get to make it our own room. Yeah. This is what it looks like before and after. So it's really small. It's a very tiny space. But, um, you know, it's our own. So this is the door. This is our chest of drawers. Matthew. <laughs> our window. It's our little balcony. The bed. And our wardrobe. the current sunset of our new room. Yay! <laughs> so exciting. Trying to personalize it to make it ours. So we got a little plant from Tesco's today. It's a ginseng plant. Let's see how long it survives. <laughs> <laughs> our track record with plants isn't very, isn't very good. Finally unpacked all our suitcases yeah, and we've stored them away. I'm surprised everything that we brought over fits perfectly. We've actually we've got extra room, um, which could be a bit dangerous, you know, to go shopping and and that. But um yeah. Yeah, the room is a bit a little bit messy. Yeah. So what's happening today? We are gonna go to bum -ba -da -bum. Shake Shack! <laughs> I've been dreaming of this moment for such a long time. I got tagged in a photo once because I knew that I loved burgers. They tagged me in a Shake Shack in New York photo. And I haven't stopped thinking about that ever since. And we finally have come to a city that has Shake Shack. Yay! <laughs> so what are you going to try? Uh, so I've tried Five Guys in America. I've tried In-N-Out and I just got a, like a normal cheeseburger with their special sauce, whatever. But today... I think I want to go for a mushroom burger. I've been getting into that like a lot lately. Like there's one in um, Sydney, Belfields on Botany. Check it out guys. Um, they have the best um, mushroom burgers. So ever since that burger, I've been getting into it quite a lot. So yeah, can't wait. Do you know what you got to get? She's been watching vlogs all morning <laughs> on Shake Shack, on burgers. Like she's pumped. She's doing her research. Not yeah, research. She, I'm she's... just getting so excited and watching people eat it. It's not... <laughs> kind of embarrassing so yeah we'll, we'll show you guys around what we eat hopefully we vlog because sometimes we get so excited that we just want to dive into it get to vlog yes ready to go ready to go look at the weather outside sunny-ish day <laughs> that will probably rain ready <laughs> Two price? You can get another one. This is a very special burger. <laughs> it's very little. A tiny. It's a mushroom one. Maybe we should have got a more chips. Oh well, next time. I'm so excited. Next time I'll get the normal cheeseburger. Look at that cheese. Want yours? I don't think I can compare it because it's a mushroom burger, but it's really nice. I could be just really hungry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First 
first time trying Shake Shack. Really excited, really hungry. It's like 10 past 3 in the afternoon. <laughs> Chips first, we got cheesy fries. Oh, you love your cheese. Love cheese. <laughs> I ended up getting the peanut butter shake. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. That's a good shake. And for the tiny chicken burger. They're really small. They're a lot smaller than we expected. Maybe we should get two fries next time. It's called a chicken shack thing. Mm. Good spice on the chicken. It's got a nice um, spicy coating. Yeah, it's good. Mushroom burger. I was expecting a little bit more, but maybe I'll get into the good stuff. I only had one bite, so we'll see. This is what's in. Okay. Yeah, okay, maybe your chicken burger's is nicer. Yay! It looks pretty decent. So we love our chicken burgers, by the way. Mm. This is way better. Now I'm very curious to see what their cheeseburger is actually like. Yum. So good. Because I'm going to get a cheeseburger after this. Are you? Yeah. Oh, cool. No. Mm. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. It's because I've had better mushroom burgers back in Sydney. And this one's okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a cheeseburger as well. <laughs> Yum. That's why they call it Shake Shack. <laughs> so what did you think of it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It was a bit small, so I'm planning to get another beef burger and try the beef burger. It was good though, but I still rate Superior Burger. Number one chicken burger that I've tasted. Mm. So there was a lot of hype around Shake Shack. Could be different in New York. Um, the milkshakes are actually really good though. So I'm um, really impressed with this. I thought it'd be, you know, peanut butter shakes are usually like very overpowering. This one's like the perfect balance. We're gonna go for round two and get two cheeseburgers. Are you back? Here comes round two. That looks good. Yum. These look way better. <laughs> Hopefully this is better than my mushroom burger. It's pretty thick patty. It's still pretty small, but it's not good. I'm not too sure. <laughs> it's good. It's not dry at all, which is nice. It does look good. I don't know. I don't know my thoughts about it. You can have it first. Yeah. The shack burger. It's small as well. It looks can, so tiny in your hand. You can get a double patty in this. It's a good simple burger. I think it's lacking a bit of sauce. It lacks the sauce. Like, uh, it needs like a good mayo or a good some like burger sauce, fry sauce or something. Is that why me? Oh wait, hold on, it's on this side. Oh, there you go. Okay. Not even the distributor. Mm. Is that why they give us like tomato sauce and mayo? Maybe we have to dip it in ourselves. It's okay. It's um, <laughs> I think you got hyped way too much. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe better in the States, maybe better in New York. But it's a good simple burger though. It lacks a bit of um, sauce for me. Yeah. Yeah. So the meat is really nice. It's just that bite, it's just missing a few things, hey. It's missing something, yeah. But if you want like a, yeah, a simple burger, as I keep saying, 
It's good. It's £5.50. Um, the double the double pad is like £8 something. I'm gonna go in for a second bite. Hopefully this one's better. I'm a massive burger girl. Yeah, like Matt said, it's a nice simple burger. We had better burgers before. As a chain one, it's a bit... Yeah, it does lack a lot of sauce. It's not as good as I thought it would be. That's fair to say, right? Shake Shack was like hyped up so much and it looks so good. Like it does look like a good a good burger. Ben and I were just talking about and saying that maybe there's a secret menu that we don't know about. Maybe we ordered the wrong things. Maybe it's not supposed to be a beef burger but something else on the secret menu. I do know some states do have secret menus for Shake Shack. So if you know what to order and you've ordered the wrong things, please let us know because we want to give it, a, give it another go. It is better with like a bit more mayonnaise. Because overall I feel like it's a dry burger. Like the patty's nice, but overall there's not it's not saucy at all. We're massive burger fans and um, the most raving um, burgers we've heard that are really really popular amongst like America was Shake Shack, Five Guys, and an out burger. I'm gonna ask Matt first. I'm gonna ask you first what his favorite meal, his favorite burger was all together. And just overall, I guess. Favorite meal would have to be, I'm leaning towards Five Guys. In, in America though, I haven't had a good Five Guys in London yet for some reason. They do really good shakes as well. I like how their chips are really fresh. They're like um, from fresh potatoes. Their burgers, well, you get to customize it your own way. Basically just choose um, the ingredients that you want from the menu. So I think Five Guys is winning for me. Ooh, wow. By itself, I feel like In N Out and Shake Shack are very similar. And Five Guys is one that stands out. It's a bit more, I don't know, it's got different ingredients. So you have like, you can have to add the mushrooms, you can add the jalapenos, and like it's a bit more of a gourmet burger versus I feel like In N Out and Shake Shack are more like um, chain burgers, if that makes sense. I think I go for Five Guys again. Okay, wow, that's good. My favorite burger is. Five guys for me, but only the burger, and not in London, unfortunately. In or in America, try it in like in America. It's so much better than in London. But my overall meal, I'd have to say, is In and Out. Yeah, only because I really like the um, animal style sauce, um, and they give you unlimited sauce, so <laughs> it's really nice. And I think today's burger was just like. Just a let down. You know, every year Matt and I go to America, we have in and out every year. The last two years we've been having five guys, so we're quite familiar with it. So having Shake Shack fresh in our palate now, I still think of the other burgers. Sorry, sorry Shake Shack. Maybe you gotta try it in New York, that might be better. Yeah, it was really hyped up for us and it ended up being just like an ordinary burger. It was good though, don't get me wrong, like it's a good burger. But I think it was just so hyped that I was expecting it to be like amazing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's my two cents. Just I mean, give it a go though. If you're gonna try a burger, definitely worth definitely worth trying. All three of those chains definitely worth giving it a go because they're they're really good burgers. But my favorite, Five Guys. Kirsten's two cents. Two, two cents again. I think it's gonna be four cents. I also think that's why, like, if you have any suggestions on what to order at Shake Shack, maybe you ordered the wrong thing. Maybe it wasn't the mushroom burger, the cheese burger, or the chicken burger. Maybe there's something else on the menu that we missed out on. Um, please let us know because we'd like to give it a second go. And if you think that there's any other hacks to it to make it look, uh, you know, nicer, because I know people that went to In and Out Burger, they got the ordinary burger, they hated it, but they didn't know that there was a secret menu. And so we might be in that position right now. So hopefully we like it. Maybe it could have, been, could have just been today as well. But to be fair, we were very hungry before this burger. And that's all I've got to say. <laughs> Kirsten's another two cents. Uh, we're up to six cents now. <laughs> I just want to miss out on anything because it's such a big day for me to try Shake Shack. I wanted to mention I like these fries a lot better though. The fries by itself was really good and to clarify, in and out fries were that great. It's just the sauce that makes it good. Different components of everything. Shake Shack fries with the in and out sauce, animal style sauce, um, with the Five Guys burger and yeah that was
probably my in this shake, 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 shake. It's probably my ideal, my ideal um, meal. Putting all three of them together. <laughs> Maybe I should make up my own. <laughs> Matt and I had a good fight getting here, and now he's making me navigate home. So let's see if we make. It. <laughs> we'll see if we make it home and how long it'll take us. Apparently, it's supposed to take us. I don't even know how to read this thing. How do you read this thing? How long is it supposed to take us? 30 minutes. It's supposed to take us 30 minutes to go from here, back home. Where are we? We are in Covent Garden. And we'll see if it takes us 30 minutes or if it's going to take us longer. But, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so where are we going? Which way? We are going... Man. That's what I get. I know how you feel now. Okay, I think we go that way. I think. 